My name is Stephen Lane, and today I'm doing a presentation um, on Dylan Cole. Dylan Cole is a special effects artist. Um, he's worked on a lot of big budget films. And if you've ever seen um, big, huge uh, city shots of uh, un you know where it's obviously unrealistic, um, he might be one of the guys that's worked on it. Um, Dylan Cole is a matte painter, a concept artist, and an art director. What he's most known for is uh, his matte paintings. And what exactly is a matte painting? Well, here's an example of one here. And uh, it's basically integrating uh, film photography as well as still photo photography and other computer generated elements into single shots to create uh, very realistic looking um, camera moves through these big environments. Um, here's an example of a breakdown of how one of these shots might be created. How it started with the original image and then at the end it turns into something completely different um, using other photos and uh, some various techniques of to relight and some of it ends up being hand painted. Um, and that's that's the one thing that, that Dylan Cole brings to the table is uh, he was originally a painter and uh, that was his that was his background before it came into digital work and working on films uh, he was a very big traditional painter so a little bit about him along with that is that he graduated from um, UCLA and uh, it was in he had a fine arts degree and uh, he had a very strong understanding of traditional painting using you know acrylics and oil paints and such and actually, at the time, he uh, he didn't like digital art. He thought it was photo manipulation instead of actual painting, and uh, he was he was sort of a snob in that way. Uh, but once he you know started to do the transition, he realized what uh, the digital age had to offer, and uh, so he, he I think he kind of realized it, and uh, he just. Uh, knew he needed to make the transition, was just probably being a little bit stubborn about it. Uh, but he did make the transition, and uh, now he's doing some of the best of the work. But uh, early in the career, he, he interned at uh, ILM, Industrial Light Magic. I mean, they did the Star Wars and uh, so many other big films, Transformers, big special effects film. And so he interned there and uh, was able to... Uh, start to get into matte painting there and worked with some of the artists there. Um, and then his first job ended up being uh, at uh, Illusion Art and he did some concept work on Time Machine. Now when I say concept art, I, it usually refers to um, you know the pre-production of film when they're conceptualizing what environments might look like and it's a really rough stage. And uh, it, it's, it's a very similar um, Concept art for environments would be very similar to something you would do in a matte painting, just on a much rougher uh, sort of level. And uh, so Dylan's uh, inspirations be uh, Robert Stromberg was one of his first ones. He was a matte painter and visual effects supervisor, and uh, really kind of helped him out early along in his career. And of course, he always has. Uh, some artists that he looks at uh, at the River School, and then uh, of course he's a traditional artist. So whenever uh, he he said once that whenever he he thinks that he's doing uh, some really good work, he'll look at some old traditional artists and and just sort of like say you know step back and say uh, you know the, these guys did all this with paint and uh, you know is just sort of a way to push himself. He looks at uh, older traditional artists. Um, but now he's uh, he's really made a name for himself, and he's worked on you know very big budget films. And you know Avatar was one of the yeah, probably one of the biggest projects um, in in the last decade. It's probably the biggest you know special effects movie, and so you can see the sort of the films that he got his name on. Um, and here's a shot. Uh, I think I showed this one earlier. This one's from The Chronicles of Riddick. 
And uh, here's one from Lord of the Rings. It's very iconic. It's got the Eye of Mordor. And uh, I'm sorry, the Eye of Sauron. And then the uh, Mount Doom in the background. So, you know, Dylan has really made a name for himself. And uh, he's starting to go into uh, art direction now. Um, he... It's more likely that, you know, after he's been in the, the industry for this long, that that's the more um, appropriate route for him to take. But, uh, you know, I still hope that he continues his, his digital art because it's really good. It's been a real inspiration to me and I'm sure many other uh, matte paintings or matte painters out there. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you hadn't heard of him before, if you didn't know what matte painting was, if you are interested, um, he has a really great website. You can check out some of his other work. And then uh, he's also released three Nomen DVDs of his work in the past. So check that out if you get a chance. And uh, that is all. Thank you.